Hello and welcome back to Wildlifepedia, today let's see some amazing facts about wildebeest. In this video, we'll be taking an in-depth look at these fascinating animals, including their habitat, species, migration, diet, predators, herd and behavior. Wildebeest belong to the genus Conochetes, which is a type of antelope. There are two species of wildebeest. The blue wildebeest, Conochetes terinus, and the black wildebeest, Conochetes nu. The blue wildebeest males can weigh up to 550 to 660 pounds and stand about 59 inches tall at the shoulder, while females are slightly smaller, weighing up to 400 to 460 pounds and standing about 53 inches tall at the shoulder. And the black wildebeest males can weigh up to 400 to 530 pounds and stand about 45 inches tall at the shoulder, while females are slightly smaller, weighing up to 265 to 400 pounds and standing about 41 inches tall at the shoulder. Overall, wildebeest are strong and muscular animals with a distinctive appearance, including a broad, flat snout, curved horns, and a shaggy mane. Wildebeest have a life expectancy of around 20 years in the wild. They live in various parts of sub-Saharan Africa, from southern Kenya to northern South Africa. They are particularly abundant in the Serengeti ecosystem of Tanzania and Kenya, where they form part of the famous wildebeest migration. They are one of the largest land-migrating animals in the world, traveling up to 1,000 miles every year. Wildebeest can run at speeds of up to 50 miles or 80 kilometers per hour in short bursts when they need to escape from predators. However, they cannot maintain this speed for long distances and usually travel at a slower pace during their annual migration. They also inhabit other grassland and savanna regions, such as the Kalahari Desert, the Okavango Delta, and the Maasai Mara. Wildebeest are adapted to living in open plains and grasslands, and require access to water sources for survival. They are herbivores and primarily graze on grasses, leaves, and shoots. They are known to feed on a variety of grass species, including both tall and short grasses. During the dry season, when food is scarce, they may also browse on leaves and twigs of trees and shrubs. Wildebeest are well adapted to digesting tough fibrous plant material. They have a complex four-chambered stomach that allows them to extract nutrients from tough vegetation. They also have a symbiotic relationship with bacteria in their gut that helps break down the tough plant material. Wildebeest are highly specialized grazers, and their diet plays a crucial role in their survival, growth, and reproduction. Female wildebeest usually give birth to a single calf per year. The calving season occurs during the rainy season in East Africa, usually between January and March. Although the exact timing may vary depending on the location and weather conditions, the newborn calves can stand and walk within minutes of birth, and they are able to keep up with the herd shortly after. Calves stay close to their mothers and nurse for the first few months of life before transitioning to grazing on grass. Wildebeest communicate with each other using a variety of methods such as to make a range of sounds like grunts, moos, and snorts. They also have distinctive alarm calls that they use to alert the herd to the presence of predators. They even use their body language to communicate with each other. For example, they may raise their heads and stare in the direction of a predator to signal danger to the rest of the herd. They also use scent to communicate with each other. They have scent glands in their hooves and around their eyes and use these to mark their territory and communicate with other herd members. They also communicate through physical contact, such as grooming each other and rubbing their heads together. This helps to strengthen social bonds within the herd. They have several predators in the wild. As herbivores, they are a source of food for many carnivorous animals. 
Some of the predators that prey on wildebeest are lions, hyenas, wild dogs, cheetah and crocodiles. They often hunt in groups, using their strength and teamwork to take down these large animals. Hyenas are opportunistic predators that often scavenge on wildebeest carcasses, but they will also hunt them, especially the young and weak individuals. Cheetahs are fast runners and can catch young or injured wildebeest, but they usually avoid the larger and more aggressive adults. Wildebeest have to cross rivers and other bodies of water during their migrations, and crocodiles can ambush them in the water. As wild dogs are highly efficient hunters, often target wildebeest and other large herbivores. The wildebeest's survival strategy during migration is safety in numbers. They form large herds, and the sheer numbers of individuals make it difficult for predators to single out any one animal. However, even in large numbers, some wildebeest will inevitably fall prey to predators. They are generally not considered to be dangerous to humans, as they are herbivores and prefer to avoid confrontation whenever possible. However, like any wild animal, they can be unpredictable and may become aggressive if they feel threatened or cornered. In particular, males can be territorial and may defend their territory or harem from intruders. During the annual wildebeest migration, there is a risk of stampedes, which can be dangerous to humans who are in close proximity to the animals. Wildebeest can become panicked and start running in large groups, which can cause injuries or fatalities to anyone caught in their path. Overall, it's important to treat wild animals with respect and caution, and to keep a safe distance when observing them in their natural habitat. The wildebeest population is estimated to be around 1.5 million, although their numbers are declining due to habitat loss and hunting. That brings us to the end of our video on wildebeest. We hope you've learned something new about these amazing animals and their behavior in the wild. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.